A very good evening all, I'm Diti Lama and this is Vision of Asia Wednesday night episode. Welcome to our daily South Asian news segment, inspiring a movement which hopes to mobilize and showcase recognition, respect and opportunities for members of our community. This week we are surely seeing much participation and dialogue into creating a national footprint for South Asian Americans, especially with this year playing an imperative role with 2020 presidential elections. Currently, the race for Democratic nomination is getting tighter with all Democratic candidates. Yesterday, U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders solidified his frontrunner status with victory in the state of New Hampshire primary with Mayor Pete Buttigieg coming close behind him in the race. The campaign's focus now shifts to the states with more demographically diverse communities with next contest on February 22nd in Nevada with more than a quarter of its residents which are Latino followed a week later by South Carolina where about a fourth are African Americans. Connect with us if you or your association is advocating for South Asian political voice this season. We are looking for more opinions from South Asians on this presidential election process and where the community stand in terms of issues that matter to identity, to minorities reflected in this election. Email us on events at itvgold.com with your perspectives and we look forward to sharing it on our network. And on a note of international politics, an update here, President Donald Trump along with First Lady Melania Trump will be visiting India on February 24th, making it President Trump's first visit to the world's largest democracy since he took office. According to the White House, President Trump will be meeting with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi during the visit. We will keep our viewers updated on this. Time to now begin tonight's episode of Vision of Asia featuring our first exclusive look into U.S. military's Joint Base McGuire Dix Lake Hertz. Let's take a look at the headlines. Lieutenant Colonel Kamal Kalsi on Sava and upcoming New Jersey Devils Lake Heritage Night 2020 at the Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakes Hertz in New Jersey. Vesha Temple hosts Indian Republic Day commemorations in Long Island, New York. Art and Beat presents Sars Vati Puja, devotional vocal and instrumental in New Jersey. This and a lot more on the other side of the break. Stay with us on Vision of Asia, voice of the community. We'll be right back. <music> Welcome back, I'm Aditi Lamba and you are watching the Wednesday night episode of Vision of Asia, South Asian news segment. Let's begin the show tonight reflecting much on the importance of performance arts and empowering voices through culture, religion and language. In New Jersey, the Art and Beat Foundation has been engaging community members into creative art forms focused on a variety of traditional culture, arts, especially with music. The mission is a passion, practice, perfection and performance at the foundation which is providing one of the strongest platforms to younger generation South Asian Americans with a push towards imbibing traditional classical music. Recently in its effort to truly gather the community members together, Art and Beat presented Saraswati Puja event which comprised of a series of activities involving devotional music, lecture sessions, recitations, sloka chanting and classical and semi-classical music. The idea was to engage members of all age groups in combining elements of art with religion and much more. Let's take a look at highlights from the Saraswati Puja and comments on what inspires and motivates this cultural integration. <laughs> The 
It was such an auspicious day for us with Ma Saraswati Puja. It started all with Ganesh Puja in the morning and we culminated with Saraswati Aarti. The most important thing that we did today was community event. It was not just one person praying. We did Ashtotara of Ma Saraswati, we did Ashtotara of Ganesha. And we have this wonderful idol that you can see behind us. And we all are so fortunate to have such a wonderful event happening in our community in Edison, New Jersey. And thank you, ITV, for all the support that you have always given us from Art and Beat. Hi, this is Rumela Vandopadhyay. I'm talking on behalf of Art and Beat. Art and Beat is a community engagement organization. We promote our um, community young talents. We give them platform. We give them um, uh, opportunity to um, research and um, uh, teamwork and all the stuff. So this year, for community, we are doing first time Saraswati Puja, which is praying Ma Saraswati for knowledge, wisdom, creativity, and um, teamwork. So this is a wonderful opportunity. All community gathered together today and support us. Kids did wonderful prayer together, and they offer music as well as instrumental uh, music to um, Mata Saraswati and other schools also joined us. It was a wonderful opportunity and thank you community for all support. With your encouragement, we keep going and keep growing. Thank you so much and also thank you ITV for coming here and uh, covering our event without their support and their promotion we cannot go ahead so thank you once again and god bless you all My name is Asha Devi and we performed a jugal bandi on the sitar and violinist. The violinist is my dear sister and friend Debi Shade. And um, it was a jugal bandi um, composed by my Guruji, who is Chiranjit Bhogal, Karan Bhogal. And we decided to play this together. She said, my name is Debi Shah, I play the violin and Asha here played the sitar. Now, as someone who only plays Western music, I play Mozart, I play Bach, this is a very new experience for me. But having someone as educated and as passionate as Asha, it's very easy to be able to make music together and engage the audience as well. I feel like music should engage the audience as well as make yourself feel very welcome. So, uh, having listened to our performance, I hope you really liked it a lot. And uh, uh, be sure to come to more Art and Beat events to see performances like these. Thank you.
the main shloka that we finished with the day is Paritranaya Sadhunam, Vinashaya Chadushkridam, Dharma Samsthab and Arthaya Sambhavam, Yuge Yuge. Whenever there is any adharma happening anywhere in the world, God will be there to take care of all of us. So, always think about God before you do anything in life. Thank you. On behalf of Art and Beat, we'd like to thank ITV Gold for coming here and supporting this community organization. Thank you. And more on cultural heritage and honoring our traditional roots, let's take a look at the commemorations on Indian Republic Day and Indian patriotism hosted by the Vaishnav Temple of New York in Long Island. Catering to the Vaishnav Gujarati community of New York, the temple serves both as a religious and cultural center inculcating moral values of the Hindu religion while also promoting Indian culture, arts and language. Focused also on community service, the temple is known for its contributions and resources for the Indian seniors community to Gujarati classes for young generations, health fair for raising awareness amongst community members and much more. The Indian Republic Day event saw much of the temple's enthusiasm as well as passion for promoting Indian ideas and history with an event such as Republic Day which honors the Indian constitution and India as the world's largest democracy. Let's take a look at some highlights coming in from the commemorations featuring cultural displays, speech addresses and much more. <laughs> He is a North Hempstead town clerk. He is serving his second term as a clerk. This is the Vaishnav Temple of New York, senior community center of Vaishnav Temple of New York and Gujarati Samaj of New York combined event celebrating India's 71st Republic Day. Our constitution came into effect on January 26, 1950. Back home in India, there was a big parade celebration due to the time difference last night, which was 26 morning. And I am very feeling fortunate as well as humble that we have a lot of devotees, all the guests, and the world's largest democracy celebrating 71st Republic Day. I want to welcome you and thank you for inviting me into your cultural home to celebrate democracy, which is really what we're here for today, right? Yeah. Now, coming from the world's largest democracy and being in one of, one of the world's great democracies, we know that democracy is not a spectator sport. Right? What would happen if they held an election and no one showed up to vote? It's a participatory sport. It requires our active participation. You know, it's probably one of the reasons why Winston Churchill once said that democracy is the worst form of government except for all others. In other words, democracy can be difficult at times. We're seeing that right now, right here in the United States of America, where we're arguing over the limits of democracy versus the rule of law. And however that argument comes out, and whichever side of the aisle you fall on, we know that democracy is not always an easy thing to be a part of. But it requires participation. And the fact that all of you are here today to celebrate the democracy that is India is proof that we in America can continue to demand participation and know that that is the best way to get the government that best represents all of our collective interests as a, as a nation. So I want to thank you for leading the way. I want to thank you for participating in this ceremony here today. And please, let freedom ring. Thank you all very much. God bless you all. And God bless you all. Ratsmata ki. Yes. Ratsmata ki. And it's an honor for, for me to be invited back to, to the Republic of India Day celebration. I have been attending for a number of years, and in fact, the first one was in the small facility next door. 
And the fact that it's grown to this size, it's truly amazing. It's, this room is packed, you know, even more so than last year. So Nassau County would like to offer you the use of the Nassau Coliseum because you're getting too big, so. <laughs> Kids want to get up and perform, and we all want to hear from them uh, and see them and enjoy that. Um, it is a wonderful day in the history of, of, of the world, really. Uh, the 71st anniversary of Republic Day of India. Um, and it comes down to this. It gives us the freedoms to seek life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And there is nothing better than that. And on behalf of the Nassau County Legislature, I want to say how proud we are of our Indian American community, our Indian American leaders, and the Vashonetic Temple in particular here in, in our own district. So, God bless all of you, God bless America, and I'd like to present a citation to your president. It's now time for a short break. Stay with us on Vision of Asia. Voice of the Community will be right back. Welcome again. You are tuned into Vision of Asia, our South Asian news segment for the night. We now have an exclusive first look into our ITV Gold feature on U.S. military's joint base McGuire Dix. Lakehurst, located in New Jersey. We are proud to be the first South Asian American network here covering one of the largest U.S. military bases in the country, which features the Air Force, U.S. Army, Navy, and the National Guard. We visited the joint base to bring to our viewers the first look at a movement and mobilization of Sikh American identity in U.S. military, with patriotic Sikh Americans being given religious accommodations for serving in the military with their religious articles of faith. We bring to you a short segment from our exclusive presentation tonight featuring Dr. Kamal Kalsi, Lieutenant Colonel, the first Sikh American to have been granted religious accommodations to serve in the U.S. Army. At the Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst, the Lieutenant Colonel Kamal Kalsi spoke to us on a decade-long journey of bringing respect and representation for Sikh Americans and their passion towards serving the military as well as founding of the Sikh American Veterans Alliance, a great nonprofit which is presenting the second annual New Jersey Devil Sikh Heritage Night on Saturday, February 22nd at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. Do stay tuned for our full exclusive featuring Lieutenant Colonel Kamal Kalsi and Airman First Class Jaspreet Singh on creating and channeling a pathway for Sikh Americans in U.S. Army and Air Force coming very soon on ITV Gold. Ten years of, of legislation, then getting it approved, yeah. and now we are here to get more people recognized. How do you feel? Oh, it's great. It's great. You know, I think it's a milestone to to that that we get to celebrate. You know, we we ten years where we were ten years ago where we were as compared to where we are today. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, it it's uh, it's it's definitely taken us. Uh, it's, a, it's taken us a good time, uh, a lot of effort, a lot of folks have come come together to, to uh, push the policy change and yeah. push all of the uh, young six that we have uh, uh, joining us. But it, you know, it, to me, it's wonderful that we have not just six joining, but people of all faiths coming together. And uh, you know, I'm proud that uh, we have Muslims and Christians and Jews and mm. all minorities coming together to to be a part of this this military you know our viewers would know this we have been following you and all the incredible work you've done to get 
religious accommodations basically approved for all articles of faith for people from different backgrounds in the U.S. Army. Mm -hmm. And now with SAVA, the Sikh American Veterans Alliance, you're an amazing nonprofit, and obviously the team of people that have supported you from the military and otherwise, you're transitioning into helping and reaching out to other branches. So today we are actually celebrating the third um, airman who has been approved for religious accommodation yeah. from the community. Talk to me a little bit about, uh, you know, th that focus that was yours, you know, really focused on reaching out to the other branches yeah you know it, it came sort of it grew sort of organically because uh Jaspreet actually uh, airman uh Jaspreet Singh yes uh he was the first one to reach out to us from the air force saying look we we would like to you know I, or, uh, he called us saying look I would like to keep my articles of faith hmm. um and so uh he told me a story and I'm, I'm sure he'll share his story with you but yeah. a very very uh, passionate young individual um, and uh, very uh, it was a very emotional story um, so it, it uh, you know it it, it made us I, I'm not sure that you're ever ready uh, to push for anything yeah unless you have the right people in place yeah and so I think it was just um, you know it was maybe maybe God's will that uh, brought just breathe to us at the right time and uh, we just sort of, uh, we just put the pieces together and let it happen. He, he did all the work um, and we, we helped wherever we could. And, uh, you know, his command staff was very supportive. Yes. Air Force has been awesome. Yeah. And so we're, you know, we're, we're celebrating this really um, as a joint achievement. You know, uh, Air Force, uh, Pentagon, his local command, um, and uh, you know, outside veteran service organization. Yes. So in, in terms of when we're talking about the fact that, you know, the Air Force has now accommodated three uh, members of the Sikh American community into their bases, and you have, you know, um, in, some incredible, you know, amount of, uh, you know, personnel that are now serving in the U.S. Army. When you're looking at this, uh, the big picture, um, do you, what does it represent when you get approved in the Air Force as well as the U.S. Army? Um, you know, if I was to ask in terms of SAVA, what is the word that we're trying to put out by doing these efforts? And what should the community perhaps learn from that? You know, we're, we're just very simply trying to say that we are, we're part of the American fabric, you know, that our, our, our turbans, our beards, uh, our heritage uh, is just as bit as American as, as anything else. Yeah. Uh, and we, we just want to be able to uh, integrate into our uh, American communities yeah. uh, and give back to the community, uh, be a part of it and give back and and serve uh, and you know because military service as well as police service as as well as many other types of services yes. part of uh, part of our culture and our heritage and our our upbringing. Yes. Uh, so it's important for us to be able to continue that, um, pass it on to the next generation, yes. uh, and fight for things that we believe in. Has founding SAVA and connecting that directly with um, you know command officers and also uh, different branches of government helped? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it certainly helps me. Because there, uh, there wasn't any um, nonprofit for Sikh Americans serving in the the military before this, right? Right, right. Now, and not just Sikh Americans, but really minorities in general. Okay. Uh, really, uh, there are only a handful of uh, uh, military service organizations dedicated to. Um, uh, religious minorities such as ourselves so we you know we saw the the gap um, the need mm. and we we decided to fill it and we now um, are a national organization we've got uh, a tremendous amount of work and and uh, 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 wonderful individuals that are part of the organization you know people like just breathe yes uh, airman singh who are are pushing the boundaries in, in the Air Force and uh, making it a better force. Definitely. Uh, so I'm definitely very, very proud of her. On February 22nd, uh, we're doing a big Sikh Heritage Day yes. with the New Jersey Devils. And it's going to be an amazing event, so please come. Uh, but it's, it's an opportunity for us to not only interface with our own community, but also interface with just our, our regular American uh, neighbors and, and show them uh, all the amazing and beautiful things about our 
uh, our culture and our heritage. Uh, so there'll be there'll be tol, there'll be pangra, there'll yes. be Punjabi food. Yes. Um, and so it, it's it's nice. I know uh, Mayor Ravi Bhalla from Hoboken will be joining us, yes. and uh, Attorney General, uh, New Jersey Attorney General uh, Garwal will be there as well. Yeah. And that is all for tonight's episode. Remember to send us your suggestions and get your voices and organizations on our show. Email us on events at itvgold.com or follow us on Facebook at ITV Gold. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch many of our popular shows for free. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is Vision of Asia and I am Aditi Lamba. Take care and be well.